What up Factionistas and welcome back to Faction Halloween. If you guys are new here, that's 31 tutorials in 31 days, so definitely subscribe, yo. So today we're doing a little bit of a mermaid, a dark mermaid, which ended up being very like Greek god, so very translatable techniques in this video. So definitely take with it what you will, and if you guys recreate anything, definitely share it with me using the hashtag Faction Halloween. So jumping right in. So the first thing you guys want to grab is the Makeup Forever Flash Palette. And I'm just going to mix the black and the white together to get a gray cream paint. You guys can use a gray uh, water-activated face paint or any gray paint that you have. You just want to cover your entire face to get a nice neutral muted color. But since I'm using cream paint, I'm just roughly applying it to the entire face. And then using a damp beauty blender sponge to really buff that in. I don't want a very full coverage gray. I want it to be a little bit sheared down and almost more of a natural skin tone with a little bit of that pinky flesh tone of my natural skin poking through. So just uh, poke, uh, just poke, <laughs> just pat it all in, and then now I'm setting it really quick with a loose powder since it is a cream paint. So I'm going in with the Master Palette by Mario, and I'm going with this Claudia shade because it's this beautiful, cool toned gray, and I'm using the brush that comes in the kit, and I'm just using that to sweep it into my crease. We're doing like a very soft cut crease. My eyes are super hooded, so um, most of what I do isn't going to be super like glued on there, but you want to carry it all the way into the inner uh, corner and outer corner, buffing that right into the brow bone and blending that right up into the eyebrow. I'm going back in with the flash palette and I'm grabbing this cream gold and I'm applying that to the inner corner and I'm cleaning up a little bit of that uh, gray eyeshadow we had used, but I'm using this as a base for our eyeshadow. Grabbing that Mario palette again and using the color Fifth Avenue, which is this gorgeous neutral gold shade, I'm applying that right on top and with my hooded lids that should really seal it in for most of the evening if you guys are like me. Grabbing Petroleum Jelly, this is just to put on our eyebrows to protect it from the liquid latex that we will be applying. You guys can use water if you guys want gold leaf to stick, but I'm going in with a little bit of latex for a little bit of extra hold. And I'm applying that to my eyebrow itself, above and below my eyebrow, because this is where we're going to, where we're going to be applying the gold leaf, and I want it to really adhere to the skin. So I'm going with this gold leaf, which I bought from Hobby Lobby for 6 bucks. You get 25 sheets. It's incredible, incredible stuff. I'm just using a small a piece here, applying it to my eyebrow, and then I'm pushing it in in a less uh, jagged or a less straight shape because when you rip it, it might have a little bit of straight corners because it is a piece of paper. You want to press those in so they get a little bit more of scale-like marks, and we're using this in this mermaid tutorial to kind of project it as scales, kind of trying to stay away from the whole pantyhose technique and trying to do a little something different. But um, you guys can uh, obviously use this for Greek God or whatever you want. Um, I'm going in with a makeup sponge that I ripped up to get a little bit of texture, and I'm applying this all over the face to get, and this is going to kind of almost mimic scales as well. You want to add that texture and that depth. Um, I'm losing, I lose a little bit of it because when I put my contacts in, I cry half my makeup off almost every time. So I wish that this texture stayed showing through more so in the final look, but that's okay. So do whatever you guys would like, and if you guys want more texture, less texture, do that thing. But I'm going with a second layer now with more color on the sponge, and I'm using that to almost contour my face to add texture and depth at the same time. You want to apply that to the entire face. You really just want to break up this gray, um, gray face paint, and I'm applying it very heavily around the temples and the forehead, and that's going to give a nice silhouette and give shape to our face. And also using it to contour the jawline, so you get real sassy, real slim. You feel me? <laughs> So I'm going in with a little bit of the under eyes now too, which totally doesn't even matter because again, I cry off all my makeup when I put in Scalera lenses because they are pretty big and very invasive to put in your eyeball. But I'm going in with this Makeup Forever, uh, a different texture sponge, and I'm using that with cream white face paint to highlight. Again, this technique almost uh, doesn't actually go through with me um, because I cry off my under eye, but it really works on the forehead and the nose to kind of break up all that black. And since it's a cream paint, you can tap it in to if it's a little bit too stark. But so now my contacts are in and I cried off all that makeup, so I'm going back in with a mixture of that gray face paint and applying it to the under eye, and then we're going to blend that in again with the make uh, with a beauty blender sponge. But again, it, you guys might like this soft highlight. I'm going in with this Makeup Forever palette, which is obviously my favorite this Halloween season, and I'm just touching up the eye in that cut crease area, but then I'm also bringing it down on the outer corners, putting a lot of pigment on that outer corner, and then blending it into that gold, and that's going to give us a nice uniform and finished eye look, and I think the gold in the, really, in the inner corner is really striking, really pulls the eye, which is great, and then I use a little bit of it to contour the sides of the nose. Adding a little bit more liquid latex now to that inner corner area. Be very careful. Oh, and don't lose any gold flakes. And you want to apply some more now going down almost as a nose contour. 
And then with some black eyeshadow, I'm applying that to my lash line on the outer corner, but then bringing it underneath my waterline um, all the way across my eye. To, it gives a little bit more of what I feel as a, as a fish shape. And then in that empty space, we're taking this Makeup Forever Aqua XL Gold Eyeliner, which is waterproof, and I'm applying that to the waterline and also the lash line as well to hug right where that black eyeshadow ends to give a little bit of a more doe-eyed and bigger-eyed effect, but also using that gold to kind of more translate this mermaid vibe. And then with some black eyeshadow, just cleaning up and hugging that right underneath where that liner ends. Once you get that done, I'm applying a little bit more of the silver leaf or the gold leaf into the inner corner area of the eye. And then taking that dark blue eyeshadow from that Makeup Forever palette again, and then using that just to deepen up the contour. I really like to have shape. Any rounded face peoples out there will agree. But I'm also pulling it right into the outer corners of my mouth to really cut my face in in that area. And I and I find that it gives a little bit more of a fish vibe with more of that succulent cheek and like top jawline protrusion. It's pretty cool. And then with the Beauty Blender sponge, I'm just cleaning up underneath that line. This is a cool technique too. So just apply the silver leaf or the gold leaf right to your face and then just press where you want it. And then you'll get a giant chunk of that gold. And then with your fingers, you guys can kind of buff in and remove anything that you don't want and then kind of push in everything that you do want. And I'm using that on the top of the cheekbones almost as a highlight, but to almost sink that gold all around the cheekbone leading into the eyebrow. And then I'm also doing that same technique all over the forehead. So use this gold leaf everywhere you want it. You guys can just apply it straight to the face since this, we did use a lot of cream makeup and there's a lot of makeup on our face it should stick no problem and to just go ahead and put it all over the contour areas this is really great and this is super affordable but it gives a really cool effect i'm adding a little bit of gold paint to the inside of my ear to kind of tie that whole vibe in so now i'm very quickly just applying like a very rough grungy looking effect of black paint on my body and then we're going to go in and apply that gold leaf to my entire body so these first two sheets i didn't use water and you guys can see it's 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 falling off my face or my head a lot in movable areas but right now i'm going to spray my shoulder with water and you guys are going to see that it like contact glue like look how stuck that is so i would suggest spraying water over your entire body section by section to apply this gold leaf everywhere because in the sections that i used water it really did stick very very well so I would definitely use that in movable areas around the neck but this is my very first time ever using gold leaf and I'm obsessed I'm gonna have this in my makeup kit for the rest of my life so real quickly I'm just changing the shape of my jawline with a little bit of black and then I'm applying a little bit of gold paint to my lip and then we're gonna do a little kissy face and apply black face paint right on top so when we open sorry all the noises so when we open our mouths it has that cracked look and then just buffing out the lip line shape right into the under eyes adding a little bit more nose contour and then you're super done my friend so I really hope that you guys learned something new today and kind of got a cool technique on how to use gold leaf in your Halloween costumes this year um, I think it's really fun really striking you're definitely gonna pull eyes at your Halloween party if you look like this but I love you guys so so much and if you guys do recreate this or any one of my makeup looks definitely share it with me using the hashtag faction Halloween I would love to see it and if you're not already please subscribe and stay tuned for a new video every night until October 31st I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, friends.